exploring out here in the woods and not too far from an old ghost town known as Centralia. Doing some research on the area. And this interesting advertisement from the town Central Cypress Company, Centralia, Florida. Band sawed cypress, pine and hardwood lumber. There you have it. This town existed in the early 1900s. It was a boom town. Centralia, Florida was named after a lumbering and agricultural town by the same name in Wisconsin. Some of the people that worked at the Hernando County Sawmill lived in a settlement called Wisconsin, about five miles due west of Brooksville. Very interesting. These people came from Wisconsin and Connecticut, hence they called their settlement, Wisconsin. So there's some more information, the background of the town and the area. There's some maps as well. Looking forward to today's adventure. Here waiting for my friend Damien. We're gonna explore these woods and some of the history together. He also has a passion exploring nature and history and has a YouTube channel called On The Move. Be sure to check it out. But besides that, he has many talents and passions and is involved in a lot of different projects. He's a professional musician, also does music lessons. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, be sure to look him up. Here my good friend Damien from On The Move. How are you doing today? Good, hi everybody. <laughs> good to have you out here in nature, exploring these woods and today going off the beaten path, search of some incredible history in this area. There was once an old town here called Centralia. Today it's a ghost town. I know you've always wanted to come out here and explore this area. And this was a booming town in the early 1900s. And you can see where we're hiking today. This is one of the old roads. What do you think of the area so far? I'm loving this little uh, old road here, this forest <laughs> road. Beautiful scenery. Yeah. Uh, I love just being in the woods, so I'm stoked. And I've known about this place for years through watching some of your videos, and I'm very excited to actually get there, you know, <laughs> for you to take me along. So thanks for bringing me. You're welcome, and thank you for coming along. I appreciate it. It's always great to have you along for the adventure. And think about this, too. It's a beautiful wooded area today, but back in the times of the town, this area would have looked a lot different. It would have been cleared out, lots of logging activity. Yeah. Lots of working, lots of hard work. Yep. Coming through this many, road. Up many and down. people lived and worked in this town. So let's take a journey into the woods here and see if we can discover along the way. Incredible, we made it to this site in the woods. This is part of the sawmill processing area. You can see a lot of the foundations. What do you think of this? I can, I'm gathering in how huge this area was that was built upon with all these yeah. foundations here. This was a very big area. Quite a large operation here. Yeah. Let's walk around and take a look at some of these foundations. Other bricks you can find with some writing on it. It's interesting to look at the details on these foundations. What do you think that is? You can see a slot there. Yeah, it's definitely some sort of slot. Something fit into it horizontal, horizontally, or vertically. Yeah. You know, I wonder. All throughout foundation here and on the other side. Let's walk around. On the 
other side of these foundations, you can see more of these slots here. Also, you can see where something was attached here on the foundations. What do you think of that? Yeah, something large was attached to these for sure. Yeah. Now this may have been part of a well or water tower out here. You can see the foundation there. Joe was just explaining to me that this is probably a band you know, something they would wrap the cypress logs around with to keep them in place. Yeah, very Pull interesting. Them together. I mean, we're just speculating. Uh, but that very well could be. I mean, this is, it goes into the ground here. Yeah, it's quite large. And all this we're sitting on, right? So this is debris that we're sitting on, right? From these old buildings and all this mess because it looks like we're on a mound but i think it's just right it's just debris yeah that's why there's all so there's bricks there's bricks right here wow really interesting to look at this advertisement compared to where we could possibly be at today we may be in this area what do you think yeah i mean i'm thinking we're either here or here yeah, somewhere maybe in between these buildings where they yeah. once stood. I mean, either way, we just walked through all of this. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Wow, it did look a lot different, didn't it? Yeah. Everything was cleared out. Pine and hardwood lumber. I like how this, they also made, made meat and vegetable crates. Yeah. Looks like there's an embankment just above here. Yeah, you can see it up there. It's an old mill pond. Notice the foundations here leading up to this pond. This is where they would bring in the logs to oh, process okay. them. It opens up. Ah, and the pond is dried cool. out today. Yeah, it's dried out today. Have a look. <laughs> this is cool. Ah, uh, yeah. railroad line here. There's the pond. So you can see this old railroad line here, it's overgrown today. Isn't that fascinating to think though that this area was so different than trains coming through here. And now that you see these trees growing right where the railroad line was. Yeah, that's some huge oak trees. Huge. Nature's reclaiming this place, that's for sure. Really interesting relic of the past out here. Heavy duty. What do you think? What do you think of this? Yeah. Can't even imagine to know what this would have been. But oh, it's not going anywhere. Not it budge, is heavy. Not budging that. <laughs> no. But it's it's probably part of the sawmill. I mean, it's been here for quite some time or by the area where that was taking place, all the logging operations. So very interesting. It's still here. It's been here for over 100 years and it will continue to be. It's going to be here after we're long gone. So we explored around that sawmill site and we're on part of the railroad line now that went into the area. It came through town, 
and we're by some of the old town roads as well. There was a commissary in the town. It was one of the largest in the area at the time. It had all kinds of supplies and goods. So the train not only transported timber, but also brought in some of the goods and transported goods out of this area to surrounding communities as well. So it was quite the town. You know, uh, I was doing some reading up on the, the, the town before we got here. Yeah. And I read that they would have more goods here than the city of Tampa or Orlando. Wow. Yeah, that's how, you know, populated, you know, the things that they would need. Amazing. This place. You would never imagine that yeah. being out here today. <laughs> There's nothing here today. And they had a hotel here, movie theater, church. So it, it was a busy place. And here's part of the railroad line that we're on. Beautiful. house and we come along these old plates um, some glass bottles that are broken maybe this was like to a jar some sort of bowl maybe a teacup um, and there's some other broken glass and then I right behind me here is this what could have been maybe a barrel ring oh I hurt myself and right here Sort of metal bucket container. Pretty cool. Well, here we are on the streets of Centralia. And this is just one of the roads that existed during the time of the town. The commissary would have been over here somewhere in this direction. We were exploring over there, and then there's a movie house. There was a hotel in this area somewhere. You wouldn't know that standing here today, would you? Never. <laughs> You would have thought this place was never touched by mankind, yeah. ever. Yeah, so there would have been a hotel, movie house, a school. Well, that was a great adventure today. We saw a lot of interesting history, traces from the past, scored off the beaten path. What did you think? Ah, that was really cool. Definitely very interesting. Good slice of old Florida right there. Yeah, it was like well, taking a journey back into the past. and. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it was great to have you along for the adventure. Hopefully we can do more adventures together. And yeah. I'd like you to tell everybody where they can find your videos. Oh yes, uh, On The Move is the name of my channel. And uh, I do a lot of hiking and exploring, things similar to Joe. And uh, I just go out there and have a good time. I love yeah. being outdoors and I love being in the wilderness. So if uh, you'd like, uh, come follow me there on my channel, On The Move. Awesome. And you do, besides that, you're doing all kinds of other projects. You do a lot of different things like music and you're very busy. So I appreciate your passion. It's an honor to have you out here exploring the trails with me. Thanks, man. <laughs> appreciate it. Like I said, I, I've known about this place through your videos before I even knew you. And, and I've known you for a couple of years now. <laughs> and uh, finally, you brought me out here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So thank you. <laughs> it's really cool. Awesome. Well, you all take care and... See you in the wilderness. See you guys.